Welcome everyone to the virtual unit challenge presentation. Traditionally, the unit challenge winners are presented at our annual fall meeting, but as everyone knows, our current state of affairs has caused us to be creative in more ways than one this year. My name is Clyde Hamner, and I'm thrilled to be your second vice president of LRTA, as well as chairman of the program committee and the legislative committee. And I wanna thank everyone who had faith in me to put me in this position. Now a little bit about the Unit Challenge Awards. In 2014, LRTA launched the Unit Excellence Challenge. The purpose was to challenge local units of retired teachers to strive for excellence in their programs and activities, to engage their current members and recruit new ones, to participate at the district and state level, and to use the resources provided by the state office in striving to make our retirement years great. When I was running for second vice president, I had the opportunity to see firsthand, or at least I heard about them, some of the activities that your units had. I saw a great time at your meetings and the sharing of extremely valuable information. Information on your TRSL retirement, legislative matters, insurance and benefits, state and local politics, as well as the great social gatherings, the entertainment, and of course, the best food you can eat. All over Louisiana, even now, I see local units as protectors of their retirement benefits, such as health and hospitalization, prescription drugs, and life insurance. I'm witnessing local units working with LRTA and TRSL to protect the TRSL retirement system, proving that there is power in our numbers. The current pandemic presented extra challenges to our units, but despite these challenges, some units were able to complete their activities either remotely or before the pandemic began. LRTA recognized that many units could not complete some of the portions of the unit challenge, especially when it was decided for the health and safety of the membership to cancel the spring and fall meetings. However, LRTA asked units to submit the unit challenge forms completed to the best of their ability. Today, we will recognize those units as accepting the unit challenge for 2020. I wanna thank everyone who's watching today, or I should say listening today, as we honor and recognize the following units for accepting the unit challenge. Uh, first up is Acadia Parish, RTA, Rebecca Butler, the president. Uh, Mary B. Amos, RTA, Lou Pearl Washington, president. Assumption Parish, RTA, Linda Godet, President. Beauregard, RTA, Julie Porter, President. Bogalusa, RTA, Joanne Frazier, President. Bozier, RTA, Annette Lee, President. Caddo Bozier RTA, Raymond Love, President. Calcasieu Parish, Unit of Retired Teachers, Anna Green, President. Calcasieu Cameron RTA, Mary Margaret David, President. Central Louisiana RTA, Jesse Turner, President. Educators of Yesteryear, Dorothy Wilson, President. Iberia RTA, James Broussard, President. Iberville RTA, Barbara Davis, President. Jefferson RTA, Dr. Carol D. Henry, President. Lafouche Parish RTA, Beth, Beth Plaisance, President. Lincoln Parish, RTA, Barbara Kirkland, President. Livingston Parish, RTA, Cheryl Lass and Charmaine Vernon, co-presidents. Sabine, RTA, Chris Nolan, President. St. Charles, RTA, Billy Picard, President. St. James Parish, RTA, Lucy Craig Kennedy, President. St. Landry RTA, Patricia Woods, President. Union RTA, Janice Savage, President. 
Vernon Parrish, RTA. Molly Sharpenshay, president. Uh, that's Vermilion. I, I think I said Vernon. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going to repeat that. Uh, Vermilion Parish, RTA, Molly Sharpenshay, president. And then Vernon Parish, RTA, Beryl Ford and Teresa Abramson, <laughs> co presidents. West Baton Rouge, RTA, Leroy Washington, president. <clears throat> and Wynn Parish, RTA, Tommy Bankston, president. Congratulations. Those are the winners of the Unit Challenge Awards for 2020. Uh, before I close, I would like to throw out a new challenge for 2021 to everyone. In the next few months, the LRTA Legislative Committee will be having a series of Zoom meetings with the goal of preparing ourselves to protect our TRSL retirement benefits and to keep the current DB plan in place. When the Louisiana Legislature goes into session in April, we will be ready for, the, for action. As chairman of the Legislative Committee, I plan to be hands-on, and I will personally testify in Baton Rouge against bills that are not good for retirees, and I will testify in favor of those bills that will enhance and protect our retirement. The challenge is this. It is to have every member in every unit of every district ready, willing, and able to contact their legislators when they receive a call for action. I'm asking that you all remain vigilant and be ready at the drop of a hat as, if necessary when you receive that call for action from LRTA. <laughs> With well over 20,000 members, we have the people, we have the power, now we have to get busy on the politics. Yes, 2020 was challenging, but we have adapted. It has gotten us ready for the challenge of 2021. Guys, don't hesitate to call on me for help when you need uh, uh, to prepare for meetings and programs, because come Zoom or come Doom, if you need me, I'll be there. Once again, I thank you all for uh, uh, letting me share with you this time. I'll now turn the program over to our state uh, president, Janice Hernandez. Thank you, Clyde, and congratulations, everyone. I'd also like to thank you all for joining us today. Zoom is still new territory for all of us, and I appreciate everyone taking the time to join us. I particularly want to thank Jennifer and the staff. Rodney couldn't be with us today. He had a, a conflicting appointment. But Jennifer, uh, for setting this all up and uh, preparing us, uh, we appreciate it. It was my pleasure to work with many of you as first vice president and membership chair the past two years. I appreciate your willingness not only to do what's asked of you, but also to do more. Before I got into state leadership with LRTA, I served as a unit president for a few years for Ascension RTA. I know firsthand how exciting it is to hear, <clears throat> excuse me, to hear your unit's name being called at the state meeting and the sense of excitement you feel when you've learned your unit moved up a category or won the gold award for the first time. This is something our units look forward to and work hard to achieve during the year. I am sad and disappointed that we cannot have this present presentation the traditional way, but we certainly did not want this year to pass without recognizing our units for their hard work and expressing our appreciation for them. The local units are the backbone of LRTA and part of what makes our retirement years great. Keep up the great work, everyone, and stay safe. Thank you, Ms. Janice, and thank you, Mr. Claude, for presenting our winners today. And I think that everybody is, um, well, I'm glad to see everybody that joined today and that registered for this meeting. Um, and. Like I mentioned, we are recording this presentation um, for anyone that may have missed the meeting. So um, just be on the lookout for that. Claude, is there anything you want to close with? No, I sent uh, a, uh, a, a quick little message to everybody while uh, Janice was talking, repeating the challenge that I just gave to them for 2021. Um, uh, we look forward to next year uh, meeting, hopefully, 
uh, to do the unit challenge awards uh, in person. And um, I'm over and out. Um, I, I think else? that about I think that about wraps up our presentation. Is there anything you wanted to close with, Ms. Gianna? No, that's it. Just thanks again, everyone, and uh, take care. Yes, everybody, stay safe, and thank you so much for joining. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. This is Jennifer Tran. I'm the communications coordinator for LRTA. I just wanted to pop in at the end of this video to say uh, we did miss a couple of units in that presentation. This was certainly an oversight. These units did submit their unit challenge form. Um, and those units are Caddo RTA, Emma Shepard was president, and St. Tammany RTA, and Eric Sachs is the president. Uh, we sincerely apologize to Caddo RTA and St. Tammany RTA. Again, this was just an oversight. Um, but we do want to recognize these units were accepting the unit challenge form and a final congratulations to all of our units uh, we are so proud of all of you we are so appreciative uh, of each and every one of our units so thank you so much and have a great day thanks